All right, guys, on this cold morning, we were with Josh at Hollybrook Farms, and we were artificially inseminating pigs, and I just thought this would be a good video for everyone to watch. Hope you enjoy. Any hog video would not be complete without at least a picture of old Betty Hog. So, spiral tip catheter. Oh. This is the breeding rod for a pig. Cervix, shaped like a spiral, just like that. It actually twists in, and they have uterine contraction. It draws in the semen bottle. This is fresh, non-frozen. It's good for 14 days, as long as you keep it at 64 degrees. You turn it every 12 hours. It's an extender. We have boar spray. You spray the boar spray, they immediately... Let's see how red, swollen she is. She's in pro estrus, so she probably will stay in this thing. She's not been bred yet. No. And the bircher, the one we just bred, is this is her last time. She's going out. Yeah. That's why she walks around so much. But that's actually the perfect time to breed them. They actually ovulate at the end of the cycle. So if you breed them right at the end, you cover all the eggs. Great. Okay, as you'll see here, this young sow, uh, this is her third time already uh, she's been bred. You, you get three vials of semen, you breed them three times, 12 hours apart. This is her last time. She's going out, that's the reason she moved around so much. Normally when they're right in the middle of their uh, heat cycle, they'll lock up and not move a muscle. So. Yep. But she is going out. That's the reason she was kind of moving around so much. This whole process was very quick. Um, you're actually seeing the entire process, so it just takes minutes to do. Which, you know, Josh has done it several times. He knows what he's doing, um, but it, it's a very easy process. Just like that, that's old. Oh. 
Okay, guys, like I said earlier, this is an easy process. It's not that hard to do. You got to have the right tools and, um, you know, supplies to do it. Um, biggest thing is you're going to have to know your animals. You're going to have to be in tune with them. You're going to have to watch them to know when they are in their heat cycle and know when they're ready to stand and it's time to breed them. So, you know, that's up to the breeder to know that information and you're going to have to spend time with them to know that. Thanks guys for watching. Um, hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this. Thank you.